Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Passionate Kelsey. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make these crochet velvet scrunchies. I did have a tutorial for these before on my channel. I just wanted to make a sort of revamped tutorial because I do them a little bit differently than I did three years ago. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need a few things. First of all, I would start with a five millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna need some scissors, a yarn needle. You're obviously going to need some hair ties. You can use any brand. I just bought these because I like the colors. And then for the yarn, I would recommend some kind of velvet yarn. I like using Bernat Velvet. I've also recently enjoyed using the new Juicy Couture Velvet yarn. This is from Joann's, but any kind of velvet yarn will work. It should be a bulky five weight. So just make sure that those are somewhat similar. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick my ponytail. Now once you have your ponytail and your yarn, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn, put it through right through the middle of our ponytail, and I'm just going to tie it on with a regular knot. You should leave about four inches out for the tail. From here I'll pick up my hook. I'm going to take my hook, put it through my ponytail, yarn over, and pull through. I'm going to yarn over with my yarn again and pull through. And that just kind of gets us started. So from here, we're going to be doing single crochets all the way around our ponytail. And after making scrunchies for a few years, I have realized after like buying multiple different kinds of hair ties, not all of them are going to be the same size. So having a specific number of single crochets to do around your ponytail kind of just doesn't really work. So basically, you're just gonna try to put as many single crochets around this ponytail as you can fit comfortably. They are gonna be squished together pretty nicely. Generally, I try to aim somewhere between 35 and 45 single crochets, just as many as I can fit around in the circle but I will go ahead and get started. So you're gonna put your hook through your ponytail like this. You're gonna grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn and pull through two, and that's your single crochet. While I am working, I'm going to be kind of pulling my stitches back and stretching my ponytail just the slightest bit. So I'm gonna do my next single crochet like that. And I'm just making sure that they are as close together as possible. I'm just squishing them in there. So far I've done seven single crochets. So I'm just gonna continue all the way around until I get back to my beginning. And I'll see how many I can fit on here. Okay, so you might think I'm done. I've got 40 single crochets on here. I think I have a little bit of space left, so I, I'm gonna squeeze in like two more single crochets. Right there. If you take your hook out, whenever you stretch out your ponytail, you should not be able to see much of your ponytail. See how this is stretched? And you can barely see it in some parts, like maybe here, but most, mostly the single crochets are still covering the ponytail. And that's when you know you have enough single crochets. So at this point, I'm just gonna make sure that none of my stitches are twisted. I wanna make sure that the top of my stitches are all 
going around in the same spot. And then I will slip stitch into the top of my first single crochet that we did right here. I'm also going to add in this little end right there. Tighten that down. From here, I am going to do a treble crochet. So I want to chain up three to start my round. Working into your single crochets might be a little bit hard because of the velvet yarn, but just try to do your best. To start my treble crochet, I'm gonna wrap my yarn around my hook twice. I'm gonna go into the first stitch right here. I'm gonna make sure that I'm crocheting over the end that I have here. And I'm going to do my first treble crochet, so I'll pull through once, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops again, and that is your first treble. In every stitch around, we're gonna be placing three treble crochets. So in my first stitch here, I have one. So I'm gonna do another one right in the same spot. And that's two. I'm gonna do another one in the same spot and that will count as three. So now I can move on to my next single crochet, which is gonna be right here. And in that single crochet, I wanna do three treble crochets. See that? I am also making sure that I'm crocheting over this piece. We're just gonna crochet over it all the way around until you run out. Moving on to my next stitch. I'm gonna do three treble crochets. And this is just going to repeat all the way around. Whenever you're moving on to your next stitch, just make sure that you kind of stretch it a little bit and make sure that you're actually going into the very next stitch because it can be really easy to get confused and skip a stitch, especially once all of these treble crochets start to bunch up and wave, it's gonna get a little bit harder. So I always just make sure that I'm not skipping any stitches once I move on to my next spot. Okay, so that is three, and that is just gonna continue all the way around, like I said. I'm gonna do three treble crochets in every single crochet around my ponytail, and I'm gonna crochet over this end until it is no more. So if you can see, I am maybe like a quarter of the way through my scrunchie and it is already starting to form quite a bit of ruffles. If yours is not looking like this, then you could have possibly not enough single crochets on your scrunchie. You could possibly be maybe skipping some single crochets that you did and that would be causing you to have less stitches. And then also maybe you are not putting three treble crochets in every single stitch 
So I would just make sure that you're counting correctly and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so now I've crocheted my treble crochets all the way around the scrunchie. And I'm back here at the beginning. We're gonna slip stitch into the top of our first treble crochet. And then I'm going to cut off some yarn, about five or six inches. I'll take this yarn and pull it all the way out. From here, you're going to need your yarn needle. I'll flip over my project to the back. Put the yarn through my needle. And then from here on the top, I'm going to weave my yarn end down until we get to here. So go down through the top of this stitch and then I'll usually wrap it around the back of one of my treble crochets. Now I'm going to take this yarn and I'm going to run it under my treble crochets as far around as it will go. So if you can look here, this area right here, that's the bottom of my treble crochets. That's where they're crocheted to the top of my single crochets. And there should be a little tube running there. So I'm just going to take my needle and go through that tube. Just when you do that, go through the bottom. Make sure you're not showing on the front at all. Because you should be going right through the middle. And this will just continue for as far as our yarn end length. Once your end is too small, you can't weave it in anymore, you can go ahead and clip the rest of it off. Then I'll just make sure I go over the scrunchie and dust off any of our flyaways because velvet yarn tends to do that. And there you have it, you finished your scrunchie. This is how many ruffles mine has. It is still free to stretch and hold your hair very well. It goes back down to size as well. Sometimes if you leave it alone, it likes to kind of curl up like this, but it's just fine. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I hope you make a lot of beautiful scrunchies and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.